For this opening race of the afternoon, it's the Paul Linder Construction um, Tanner Salls Ireland sponsored for your mares. First to show, and the inside is Benny's Jenny, followed up on the outside by Pebble Blue. These two are matching strides. Followed next in the field by Dam of the Bay, back in third. As they make their way around the bend and into the home straight for the first time. They have 12 fences ahead of them. Give her Holly is next back in four. And they're followed next in the field on the outside by Lady Jago. And they're followed by Belmont Rose. And held up the early back marker is half past Tipsy, who was your favourite at the off. So they all clear fence number one safely. And they head their way towards the cross the road and continue to rise up the home straight and race on towards the next fence to jump, which will be fence number two. And as they do so, it is Benny's Jenny in front from on the outside now, matching strides is Pebble Blow. These are followed next in the field and behind these by Giver Holly and the inside is Dam of the Bay. And they're followed wider still by Lady Jago. And good jump by Lady Jago there. She makes up a place or two. Belmont Rose is last but one and the early backmacker as the seven past the judges trailer for the first time. It is half past tipsy. Past their trailer, head towards the top bend. When they swing the bend, they quickly race on towards fence number three. So as they continue to wait, across the top here, and it is Pebble Below on the outside, Brian Lawless, fractional leader from in second, Benny's Jenny. They're followed next in the field by Lady Jago and Dam of the Bay, Giver Holly, Belmont Rose, and the back markers, half past Tipsy. On towards this on one top of the track, fence number four, and Fielders separated by about 12 to 15 lengths now as the seven runners swing the bend and begin to decline downhill. And it is Benny's Jenny in the inside of Pebble Blow, followed next by Dam of the Bay in the inside in third. Lady Jago is next in four. They're followed by Giver Holly with Bell in behind these Belly Montrose. And the back marker of the field is half past Tipsy. Continue to run down through the trees, making their way down along the back straight. On towards the next fence to jump, which will be fence number five. Benny's Jenny in the inside of Pebble Blow. Followed next in the field in third. Touching down Dama de Bay. They're followed by Lady Jago, who's in four. And these in turn are followed next in the field. As they continue to run down towards their point of departure. Back in five is Giver Holly with Billy Montrose and half past Tipsy. So they head down towards the furthest point away from us now, bottom of the track, they pass their point of departure. Very little change in the running order so far. And it is in front, Benny's Jenny from on the outside. It is, as they swing the bin, Pebble Blow. These are followed now about two and a half lengths back to on the inside Dam of the Bay, who in turn is followed next in the field by Lady Jago on the outside in four. They're in turn are followed next by Giver Holly, who's in five, with Billy Montrose sixth and seventh is his half past tipsy. They swing up the home straight for their second time, facing them fin two fences here, six and seven. And as they do so, just touching down in front, it is Pebble Blow from in second. It is Benny's Jenny. These two are followed two and a half lengths further back at the inside in the light blue six by Dam of the Bay. Lady J goes on the outside in four. And they're followed next in the field as they climb up towards this next one by Giver the Holly, back pair, Billy Montrose and half past Tipsy. So jump in this fence, fence number seven. It'll be the last in the circus time. And it is the grey, Pebble Blue that leads them over it. Up towards the judges trailer from on the inside in second it is Benny's Jenny followed next in the field by Lady Jago Dama de Bay. They begin to tighten up and behind these with Billy Montrose, give her the holly and half past Sipsy is only a fraction and a half length back to back marker. About 10 lengths separate the runners now as they head towards the top of the track. They swing the bend and they quickly race on to the fence that will be five from the finish. As they do so, it is in front, Pebble Blue from Benny's Jenny in second. There are two and a half clear of behind these, Dama de Bay, who in turn is followed by Lady Jago. Give her the Holly, Belmont, Belmont Rose and Half Past Tipsy. Jumping four out now. Slight mistake there by Half Past Tipsy on the outside. So they head towards the bend, begin the downhill run into the back straight this final time. Run downhill towards the fence that will be three from the finish. And still plenty yet to play with, and all mares running well and in with chances. But it's Benny's Jenny in front, and the Pierce Silks leads their way from Pebble Blue in second. 
They've opened up now with three and a half length advantage from Dam of the Bay in third. Lady Jago on the outside travels well. Give her the holly. A Belmont Rose and half past 50 is the back marker. So they run downhill towards the one tree from the finish. Benny's Jenny in the inside. Uh, on the outside now, maybe even landing in front there was as I jumped that one, Pebble Blow. So Pebble Blow, Benny's Jenny, followed next by Lady Jago on the inside dam of the bay. They're followed by Belmont Rose, who's moved into five. Give her the holly and half past tipsy is the back marker. So across the bottom they go. They still have plenty to play for and a good run and back towards the fence. That'll be two from the finish now. They're beginning to tighten up, but only about seven lengths separating the seven mares. And it is on the inside. <laughs> Benny's Jenny from on the outside Pebble Blow. These two now have been prominent throughout, but in behind these Belmont Rose has made a forward move. Lady Jago, give her the hollies, is jostling for position. And they're followed next in the field by half past Tipsy, who's coming around the outside. After home bend, they come down there. All limit chances are spread right across the track. Benny's Jenny with Belmont Rose. Lady Jago between horses, wider still. It is Pebble Blow. Half past Tipsy goes into five. And they're followed by give her the holly. Weakness down at the bay. Missed bad mistake there by. Give her the holly, but they continue the way uphill, and it is in front. It is Pebble Blow from Lady Jago, and the inside is Belmont Rose, and at Belmont Rose, Lady Jago, these two have gone on. From Pebble Blow, drops back to third. Half past Tipsy is in four, and they're followed by Benny's Jenny as they run uphill towards the final fence, and it's Belmont Rose in the inside of Lady Jago at the last. Lady Jago maybe touched down in front from ending second. It is Belmont Rose, followed by Pebble Blue, staying on again back in third, up towards the line, and it is Lady Jago pushed out here by Dar Allen. It's going to get the upper hand and scores a daughter, get away scores first time of asking for turns of Brian scores from Belmont Rose who is in second and they were followed by Pebble Blue in third fourth was half past Tipsy and they were followed about 10 lengths further back to your longtime leader Benny's Jenny who was in five Dam of the Bay and Giver the Holly was pulled up in the home straight